Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you want to show some appreciation for the fact that I showed up for my second day of our daily upload streak, do drop a like and subscribe to the channel because that really, really keeps me going and it helps out the channel as well. And yeah, okay, so let's talk about the title of this video. And you probably read it, that's why you're here. I want to address the question that a lot of people ask me, is it okay for me to keep my laptop plugged in forever? In fact, this question was asked by a lot of you guys in the comment section. And on top of that, my friend recently just messaged me saying that he's going to buy a new laptop for university and he's looking for a laptop that will hold its battery life for the next four years. And uh, while that is a very, very demanding request. But I am sick and tired of you demanding and telling me what I can and what I can't do. It kind of made me realize that not a lot of people understand how exactly these laptop batteries work and there are a lot of misconceptions out there that are misleading a lot of people, including myself. So I decided to make this video and address all those questions and hopefully, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if you can keep your laptop charged forever or not. Anyways, let's get started. So if you guys are wondering what makes me the specialist on understanding how batteries work and whatnot, well, first things first. I've never owned a gaming computer or a full monster PC, so all I really had to power up my setup was basically laptops. I started off with the Dell um, Inspiron 7567, which is the Dell gaming laptop series, and then ever since then I've been owning the XPSs from the 9560 to the 9570 to the 7590, and now I even own the 9500. So it is fair to say that I owned a quite a bit of laptops and that I kind of am qualified enough to answer this question. Mainly because of the fact that I use my laptops primarily plugged in, so I've had to do this research in order to be able to use it the way I use it. Okay, so the number one thing that I want to say is these laptops have lithium ion batteries, so including your phone and every single tech device that kind of comes out uses lithium ion batteries. And if you don't know what that is, it's a good thing. And the good thing is that it's no longer like the nickel hydride batteries that have to be calibrated, that have to have a memory of the battery capacity. These lithium ion batteries are actually smart. So once you fully charge it, it knows that it's fully charged and it automatically discharges any more um, ions. So you don't, it won't be accepting any more charge basically. And let's say you let it die completely, or if you let it only die to 20% and you charge it in the middle, whatever you do, it's going to remember, it's not going to forget charge and become unusable or anything weird like that. So lithium ion batteries are safe to be um, dummy proof. Basically, you can use it however you want and it'll work fine. Now, the next thing is discharge. Now, whether you like it or not, whether you want to accept it or not, battery life, lithium ion or not, always goes down with any tech device. So if you get it on day one, you're going to have 100% battery capacity. And by the time you're at about uh, six months down the line, you're probably at 95% and so on and so forth. Depending on how you use it, obviously, it's going to change the battery wear or how fast the battery wears. But generally, every single person that uses a tech device will notice decrease in battery life over their um, course of ownership, I guess. Because lithium ion batteries have a set number of discharges that it can go through after this X number of discharges, it basically cannot hold any more charge, right? Which is why you would have to replace your battery, which is why there are ways you can preserve it. If you are a user like me who barely discharges it, who barely leaves their room and barely, especially during this pandemic, like you're basically at home. So you're wondering if you want to keep it plugged in and if it'll be bad, it'll, if it'll overheat or overcharge. Well, we already know that it's not going to overheat or overcharge, but what you can do to preserve your battery life even more is maintain or idle your battery at about 60%. Now, there have been investigations or research or whatever done to prove that the best way to extend your battery health is to maintain it between 40 to 80%. Now, that means that you should go into system settings and let it know that you should not charge it to above 80%. Or what you can do if you're really paranoid or if you don't want to get into those system settings is just charge your laptop to 80% and then keep it unplugged, use it, blah, blah, blah. Let it drop to about 40, 50% and then plug it back in and let it go back to 80. Kind of maintain like 40 to 80. And that'll obviously be way better than if you were to charge it 100 
to 0, 100 to 0, it's obviously better to go 80 to 40, 80 to 40, 80 to 40, right? So if, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. But what if you're like me and you almost never ever use the battery? What if you just want to stay in your room and use it as a computer, like a full on desktop setup? Well, if that's the case, there is a way to do it. And what you can do is you can go into your BIOS. So what you're looking at right now is the Dell BIOS, but it should be similar for almost every laptop. And you can basically set a max charge capacity. And basically if you toggle this down to about, let's say 60% or 70% or even 80%, whatever, as far as you can get from um, 100 and as close as you can get to 50, that's the best you can do. And once you do that, basically your laptop, even if you fully charge it, it's not going to reach 100. Technically, it's only reaching 60% of the, of the battery's design capacity. And uh, yeah, and you can basically keep them plugged in and use it forever. And to just prove it to you guys that my battery life has been doing pretty well, what you can do as well is you can go into your command prompt and type this exact command. I'll put the command in the description and basically it generates a battery health. So let me go ahead and open up my file explorer and open up the battery health. As you can see, this is the battery health report, I guess. And it shows my design capacity. So what the battery is intended to hold and what it currently holds right now. And you can kind of get a progression view of how much your battery has degraded over time. So look into this and hopefully your number is not too far off from the design capacity. It's unlikely that it'll be exactly the design capacity. It's probably going to be lower, but hopefully it's not a whole lot far. Like it's not like 50% of your design capacity or anything. If that's the case, well, chances are you haven't been practicing good battery practices, I guess. I don't know what to say about that. But anyways, hopefully that answered your question. Yes, you can keep your laptop charged in forever if you want to just make sure that you go into settings and make sure that it's not charging 200 all the time that's still not bad but you can even do better by making it charge up only to about 60 percent anyways with that being said this is your boy tech alpha i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys scroll down and like the video and subscribe to the channel and when you do subscribe make sure you turn on your post notifications and click the all button because that notifies you every time i drop a video and with that being said this is your boy Tech Alpha signing out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.